You're inside the maze, and we're back with another dose of the Critical Breakdown. It's your girl, Ms. Mofilla, and listen, man, I'm very excited to have this very special guest here with me, the one and only C's Prince in the building. How you doing? What's going on? You enjoying yourself? You happy to be here? I am. You feeling the vibe? I'm feeling, feeling it. I'm feeling it. <laughs> listen, well, I'm really excited to have you here today to go over one of my favorite songs of yours, and let me tell you, I listened to your catalog, C's, and um, I was like, wow. Well, my goodness. First of all, make sure you go and listen to his latest EP called uh, Seize the Moment. Did I have that right? Yeah. Seize the Moment, yeah. yeah. And the song I chose off of that is Doing Me, man. It's the critical breakdown. Let's get straight to it. But I got family and we riding till the world ends. Nothing can stop me. I'm knocking out competition like Ollie showing niggas how to do this shit properly. Sit back, watch, watch and see. see. My, My bitch is putting purpose in the money. money. It's like a prophecy. I can see it all clearly. Then make it be. Betting against me, you just dumb and silly. But now you watching me. Laughing all the way to the bank like 50. I try to help. Now listen, usually I would start off with the chorus and all of that, but for you, for this song, I'm gonna just start off with verse one. That's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start uh, off with verse one, yeah. right? And you started off talking your shit a little bit in the beginning, you know what I mean? Kind of flexing on them, telling them who you were, but I wanna skip down just a little bit. Uh, and you said, see, I move all, disclaimer. <laughs> I don't know if you paid attention to other episodes, I think you do, but I'm gonna quote your lyrics like a whole asshole. Okay? Oh, that's cool. That's cool, that's cool. all right, bet. Yeah. <laughs> so you said, see, I move how I, I'm sorry, I move how I move because I never sleep. Watching everything and everyone like a surveillance tape. Now let's just stop for a second. That's gotta be a kind of scary, not scary, but draining life to live to just constantly be. I mean, nah, that's just like, you gotta pay attention to your surroundings. Okay. And what you, where you at and what you're doing. Okay, yeah. I mean, I mean, it sounded real simplified, but the way you put it, I felt like you was like watching your, watching over your shoulder every two mm, seconds. Nah, not like that, just paying attention, staying alert. Stay alert, stay yeah. aware, always be aware. I'm always uh, caught in those blonde moments, I think that's what it calls, that like, I'll be the person in the scary movie that might get caught. <laughs> I might get caught, because I just be oblivious sometimes, I just be oblivious, but the, less, the message is to stay aware at all times, I guess, because it was sounding like you was, Stay alert. Okay, yeah. I believe it there. But then you said, <laughs> cause even fam will try and throw a low one. I keep my eyes on the prize, never gossiping. I just listen. Now listen, I live by those bars right there. You understand me? Yeah. Um, Just like family. I feel like this is an overwhelming theme <laughs> with a different guest that we have on the show. Talk about how, you know, you expect so much from family and then even they can turn their back on you. Tell me your experience. Um. I mean, it's like that. Like for me, I could say like, you know, you try to help people out, but they don't want that hand mm -hmm. or they bite that hand. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you gotta be like careful of the people you extend your hand to. Yeah, or can we talk about those that, like you say, you have love for, but they might not have those same feelings for you. Sometimes jealousy True. breeds up. You know, we talk about the Selena story all the time. Yeah, because, you know, yeah. it's, the hate comes from the people you love most. It's the people closest to you. Yeah. So the people closest to you could be the most jealous ones. Those so. are the ones you gotta watch first. You understand me? Yeah. <laughs> and then you continue on. I can make it happen with the snap of my hand. The prince with a plan. Oh, how to execute for the grants. Now listen, on how to execute for the grants. Now listen, right. how old are you, C's? Let me get straight to it. How old are you? Uh, oh, is that a, that's, a, that's a mystery? Okay, that's a mystery. Because he's talking real grown man talking. I'm like, <laughs> that face is looking real youthful. I'm just saying. Yeah, we're going to keep we it gonna like that. We're going to say black don't crack. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Y'all can keep guessing. I like that. Yeah. It's a big mystery for me. <laughs> but no, about those bars, you can make it happen with the snap of your hand, huh? Yeah, yeah. Because I, you know, I just been around, I've been doing it for so long. Mm -hmm. I got so many connections. I feel like that's just how I feel. I know, that's right. I can make it happen. Talk your shit, kid. Yeah. <laughs> Talk yeah. your shit. Now, when you say the prince with a plan, I feel like um, I'm a spiritual, earthy woman. You know what I mean? So I think about manifestation. Like when you plan and you think and you are focused on something, it's, it has no choice but to come to fruition. Does that? Right, especially if you're putting in that work. If you're putting in the work behind the plan, mm -hmm. it's gonna happen. I know, that's right. Definitely, yeah. That's right, see? I said it all earthy and stuff. I'm gonna just keep it straight up with you. You understand? Putting that work. <laughs> and then again, uh, along with putting in that work, you said, betting against me, see, you ain't understand. Now your ass stuck up in the hood. I shake my head like, damn. Now, listen, I think we could all appreciate that moment where we're like, you work so hard to get out of a space, 
And then it is kind of nice to go back and be like, damn, y'all y'all still here? Like, <laughs> and it's no shot, no shade or anything, but it does feel good to know that you've grown out of something like that, right? Right, and it goes back to like, what I was saying there, like it goes back to like, when you extend your hand to somebody mm. and they bite it, but they see you come up and you know. Of course, and now they see the come up and now they're like, come on, I right. want you now. Right, but it's too late. <laughs> You're in the hood like yeah. that. <laughs> now let's go on down to verse two, okay? And you said, I can't lie, the money made me different. <laughs> Tried to stay the same, but it's a shame. Man, I just can't. Now listen. Yeah. You really got in your bag in this verse, right? Yeah. And you was talking some good shit. <laughs> um, and I mean, I don't think we appreciate the fact that I. They say money changes you, but I don't think it changes you. I think it changes the people around you. Can you can you attest to that? I mean, to a certain extent, yeah. I think it changes you too. Okay, talk about that. Because you know you don't do the same things when mm. you get money. You don't stay in the same places or the same situations. True. You elevate and you grow and you leave some things behind. That's true. Yeah. That is true. Because I've always experienced like a lot of times people around you will expect certain things from you now that they know they got money or that you're getting money. That true. So it kind of yeah. changes your environment for you, right? True. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Then he continues to talk his shit, okay? Saying spending thousands on trips where niggas used to pay for rent. <laughs> so disrespectful. <laughs> Rocking matching furs and shit. Jews, I'm sorry, Jews shining, blinding like the sun get. Like, did you have to be disrespectful like I that? mean, you know, <laughs> sometimes you gotta get, you gotta flex a little bit. It's just, just a little bit. And I was gonna say, um, I feel like especially in the black or brown communities, we, we shy away from shining and like really like being proud in what the shit that we got accomplished. Right. Cause we afraid somebody coming to take it from us. But right? I, I, I kind of learned that from like um, watching like Kanye. Thank you. I yeah. That's exactly what I was stay going your, Stay in your confidence. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's that overconfident, that's, that it's okay to no, be that. Yeah, There's that no such thing as overconfidence. Right, right. I agree with that 100%. Yeah. And it's okay to live in your greatness. Don't let anybody else's insecurities make you them your life. You know right. what I'm saying? Keep yeah. shining on these hoes. You know what I'm saying? Now let's continue on because he continues to say, I'm cocky now and arrogant, smelling myself. I know that I'm the shit. These hoes want me now. <laughs> Thousands they see me with. Now let's talk about that transition though. Because is the hoes wanting you now because they see you with a thousand? I mean, no, it's always been there. Oh, I'm not man. even gonna, I'm not even gonna front. <laughs> I've always had the juice. I know that's right. No, but it's it's more. You know, when when people see you doing certain things, you know, okay. they attract to you more. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's continue. Listen, he's got a real energy right now. <laughs> he's got a real energy about him. All right, let's keep going. This is where it gets very real because with all this change that happens with money. The top is lonely. I got no friends, but I got family. And we ride until the world ends. Now, I feel like I talk about this almost every other episode, right? I almost kind of want to change how we talk about it. Because at this age, in this big old grown ass part of life, right? Yeah. Are we really concerned about friends, quote unquote? I feel like even those that are not related to you blood wise, they family at this stage of life. Right? I would say so, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, certain people have friends, I, I really don't. I call everybody, like, if you're close to me. That's family. Yeah, you family. I agree with that. And that's yeah. what I mean. I feel like at this stage of life, <laughs> we too old to be talking about friends. friends. <laughs> like, <laughs> either you auntie, cousin, we making fake cousins, aunties, all of the above, because right. you're family, right? right? But let's talk about that. How the top can get lonely. Even though you have your family and friends, can you talk about how you, when you elevate, a lot of times those family and friends can't relate. So it feels lonely sometimes, right? Um, I could say, like I started out with like a team, mm -hmm. you know, and then as you grow up and you get reach certain levels, mm -hmm. all of that even fell apart. Mm. So that's a perfect example right there. Yeah, and what was the, how did that feel? I mean, it just felt like some weight lifted off. Oh, that's no, it. That's right. <laughs> so I yeah. got rid of some dead weight, though. No, that's real. It happens like that. Everybody right. can't go with you. Exactly. Period. Exactly. And let's that's through. what the song's about. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> I do my homework. I do my homework. <laughs> and let's continue. And you said, this is what I really love. You said, my vision took me further than my money. I'm sorry. My vision took me further than the money. It's like a prophecy. I could see it all clearly, then make it be. Yo. Yeah. That's literally the definition of what manifestation is, and I love right. that. You gotta be spiritual with it. Come on. So you know, what you believe is what comes out. And even more important, like whatever you can envision, literally it can happen. Right. If you could see it, you can achieve it. It's Facts. Easy, but it's real. Nah, she's, 
She's talking that shit. This is church here. You understand me? <laughs> <laughs> this is church here at the critical breakdown. But no, tell me about what was your what was that manifestation phase looking like for you when you got into this game? Um, it was just like I was believing in myself and I felt I felt it like it was like a feeling that came over me, like where to go, what to do, and how to do it. Okay. And I just I followed that. Got you. And didn't even question it. And it's funny listening to your music now and experiencing your vibe. It it makes sense. Like yeah. you literally manifested all this is right now. He has like this real like old school <laughs> hip hop vibe, especially this song right now. It's soulful. But he's spitting lyrics like it's 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 a weird fusion of like new versus old that I really love. And you can tell. I hear that. I hear that a lot. You hear that a lot. Yeah. I, you, can, you can tell it in his energy. The last couple bars, you said betting against me, you just dumb and silly. Okay, bet now you watching me laughing all the way to the bank like fifty. Listen, <laughs> the best revenge is your paper. You understand me? There are gonna be naysayers out there. There are gonna be people that tell you you can't. The best revenge right. is your paper. Talk about that. Succeed, no matter what. Just keep going. That's it. Keep going. <laughs> Put your foot on the gas. No and then, break. And can we talk about how people literally will tell you, you can't do it. Right, and I think like, I think, um, I can't remember who said it, but it's like people will put their own the limitations. Right, their own limitations on you and mm -hmm. say, cause they can't do it, they'll tell you, you can't do it. Mm -hmm. And I so. think it's important to understand and know who you who you are before you even put anything out there. So that when Fact. you do get those naysayers, you already know what it is, Kanye energy. You can't tell me about me. Right. <laughs> I right. like it. Now listen, now we can get into <laughs> my critique of the week. And I'ma just, I'ma just listen, this critique of the week. I was I had a whole nother situation planned until I was on my way over here and I was listening to the original song we was breaking down. And then this song has started playing afterwards. And I was like, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> and um, it was uh, my way off of that same EP. Um, um, let me go back up, seize the moment. You see, I'm getting flustered because <laughs> wait till you hear these lyrics because we about to switch gears. Oh, 100%. <laughs> so he said, I'm just gonna go to the hook because I can't even get okay. to the okay. verse because some, somebody's family might be watching. I don't know. Um, he said, this is how I like it. I can't even believe how we about to switch gears right now. <laughs> this is how I like it. You know I'ma give it to you. I'm a dog in these sheets. Leave my handprints on your cheeks. <laughs> we gonna do it my way. <laughs> we gonna do it my way all night. And I have to stop right there because the lyrics after that, I was in the I was in the car clutching my pearls. Like, oh my, oh my goodness. So to see this man I'm in glad, person. I'm glad you felt that. Wait, chill, chill. <laughs> chill. <laughs> it's very rare that I get flustered like this. But y'all might want to go listen to that, ladies. If y'all know like I know, y'all might want to go listen to that album. Yeah, go check that. Shout out to this man for that, that track. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go play it on the way, on the way home. Um, <laughs> but can you just tell me, um, how does all of this? I can't get into the lyrics, but you know what I'm talking about. How does all, how, how does all of that come from? I want y'all to listen. <laughs> where did where did all that come from? Because your energy doesn't read like those lyrics. I mean, all my my songs come from like personal experiences. Like, yeah. So I just write what I go through, and it comes into a song. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and please start right where you can do that. You can find me everywhere. Yeah. Um, Seas Prince, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube. Everywhere. Oh, yeah. At C's Prince. Yeah. This is the first time I'm flustered and speechless. So I'm just going <laughs> to break down. And I need you guys to listen to that track so you can understand why I'm looking like this right now. But listen, <laughs> if you're looking for me, you can find me, Ms. Mo Phila, M-Z-M-O-P-H-I-L-A on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Also follow my website, Ms. Mo Phila com. And while you're at it, make sure you follow Inside the Maze on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And make sure you like, follow, and subscribe. Hit that little notification bell down at the bottom so you can keep track of what we've got going on, man. It's the critical breakdown Ms. Mo Filla seats pranks thank you for pulling up with us man yeah, you know. peace out just listen the streets be talking I hear them all of what happened no need for me to be tapping and I'm a boss not a captain can make it happen with the snap in my hand the prince with a plan and how to execute for the grants uh, betting against me see you ain't understand now you're stuck up in the hood I shake my head like damn